Econ International Limited urge to stay ahead. Welcome. This video is intended to highlight personal and public safety guidelines for construction projects in general. The safety guidelines for road projects are also included. This video elaborates PPE for everyone at construction site, including workers and officials, general construction safety guidelines, traffic control and pedestrian safety near road construction site, mandatory PPEs for everyone at construction site. This section elaborates use of personal protective equipment PPEs to reduce the exposure of workers and engineers to hazards at construction site. Do not risk your lives by entering the construction site without taking care of the following aspects. Protection of head through safety helmet. Workers and engineers should wear helmets at all times to protect themselves from impact and penetration of falling, flying and other stationary objects. Make sure that the straps of the helmet are properly tightened. Protection of feet through safety shoes. Workers and officials are exposed to potential injury hazards at construction site and should wear safety shoes, shoes with hard toe at all times. Protection of body through reflective jackets. Always wear reflective jackets with broad safety reflective straps on front and back for higher visibility. Protection of eyes through safety goggles. To prevent eyes from dust particles and injuries probable at the construction site, wear impact-resistant safety glasses with side shields. General Construction Safety Guidelines before the commencement of any excavation or embankment work for the formation, any underground utilities crossing the construction area like pipelines, water mains, sewers, storm water drains, CNG, PNG, gas lines, power cables, telephone lines, OFC ducts, poles, electric, telecom should be shifted away from the area of construction to avoid any disaster. Make sure that relevant authority permissions have been taken for shifting of such utilities. Apart from underground utilities, height of overhead utilities such as power lines and poles, extra high tension lines, telephone lines and poles should also be considered, keeping in view the height of embankment to avoid any accidental contact with the dumper or any other construction machinery. While commencing the construction of any formation, the initial height of any overhead live conductor may be quite high and may possess no risk. But as the height of formation increases, the clearance from live conductor will reduce and there may be chances of coming in the electrical shock area of a conductor, especially with dumper body in raised condition. This may lead to a fatal hazard. Traffic Control and Pedestrian Safety Near Construction Site As per IRC, a traffic control zone should be set up near construction site which comprises of following four components. Advanced Warning Zone Approach Transition Zone Working Zone Terminal Transition Zone Advanced Warning Zone is a zone where vehicles should be warned to slow down so as to achieve desired approach speed before reaching Approach Transition Zone. Use Road Works Ahead Signboards accompanied by signboards stating the distance to the hazard. Approach Transition Zone is the most crucial zone concerning safety because it mostly involves merging and turning movements. The traffic is diverted with the help of Signs, barricades, channelizers, pavement marking for pedestrians. Working zone is the zone where actual construction is being undertaken. Apart from the work area, it also includes lateral and longitudinal buffer zones to protect workforce from wayward vehicles entering actual area of work and road users from construction equipment. Delineators and barricades with lights are primarily used for this purpose. Terminal Transition Zone TTZ, provides a short distance to clear the work area and subsequently return to normal traffic lanes. As per the IRC guidelines, recommended length of the traffic control zone should be as per the following table. 